Hello children, welcome back. Today we are going to learn a new grammar topic on tenses. What do you mean by tense? Tense means time. Hence the tense of the verb shows the time of an action indicated by the verb. There are how many tenses? There are three tenses. Present tense, past tense and future tense. So now we are going to learn past tense. What do you mean by a past tense? It indicates the event which has already happened in the past. Completed actions in the past. Into how many divisions is the past tense divided? The past tense is divided into four divisions. Simple past, past continuous, past perfect and past perfect continuous. We are going to learn the two divisions, simple past tense and past perfect tense. What is a simple past tense? Simple past tense indicates an action or an event completed in the past time. What is the structure? The structure of the simple past is subject plus ed or d to the main part of the verb plus the remaining sentence. Example, I ate an apple. I is a subject, it is the verb, and then the remaining part of the sentence. If we want to form the tenses, there are three verb forms used. Example, present tense, past tense, and past participle. What do you mean by a past participle? Past participle is formed by adding ed and en to the main form of the verb, to the main verbs. Example, in the present tense, act, in the past tense, acted, in the participle form, acted. In the present tense, eat, in the past tense, ate, the past participle is eaten. Write, wrote, written. So, ed and en form is used if you want to form the past participle. Now, let, let's learn about the past tense. The first one, a simple past tense. A simple past tense, as I told you, is formed by adding d or ed to the main form of the verbs. What is a simple past tense? It is used to show an action that was completed in the past. Example, Ram saw the sunrise. The structure is Ram, that is the subject. Saw is the verb, past tense verb. The sunrise is the remaining part of sentence. In the following slides given here, you will be seeing the structure as well as the formation of the past tenses. If it is do, it will be did. Okay? If it is is, it's going to be was. So, it is important to remember the verbs used in different tenses. Three verb forms. Verb 1, verb 2 and verb 3. Verb 1 is the present tense. Verb 2 is the past tense. Verb 3 is the past participle. Verb 1, write. Verb 2, wrote. Verb 3, written. It was a quick reminder to you all. Now, as I told you children, the event started as well as ended in the past. It is called as simple past tense. And remember, we use the second form of the verb in a simple past tense. I wrote a letter to my teacher. Wrote. Simple past tense. Okay. Then I finished my homework yesterday. The event started and finished in the past. Started, finished. Both are simple past tenses. Children, now let's learn the next form of tense. That is the past perfect tense. 
What is the past perfect tense? The past perfect tense is used to say that something had already happened before the past time. Example, I had eaten a banana. Had eaten. Example, when I reached the station, the train had already arrived. Had already arrived. So, arrive, verb 1. Arrived, verb 2. Past perfect tense is formed by adding subject plus had plus the past participle form of the main verb. That is verb 3. Had eaten. Had slept. Had written. So, remember had the helping verb plus past participle is used as a structure when we have to form the past perfect tense. When we are using a simple past and the past perfect tense together in the same sentence, remember we use the past perfect to denote what happened earlier. Okay, so when both the tenses are used, so the latter, that is the past perfect, is used to denote or show to what happened earlier than the past. The action which was completed, finished, which is perfect. 